There's another game going on at the moment that you're looking at. I think it's the last quarterfinals. Yep. What's happening with this right now? I've been trying to find out the map score, but it's people are not so talkative. But it looks like 2-1 for Evil, and we're on yep. match point for Evil right now. So hopefully we can jump into this game between Evil and 0-4 yeah, and this. see who's going to go versus Cypher. All right, so Evil and 0-4, of course. Uh, Zero Four, I was glancing over earlier. He was taking Evil to overtimes on on these maps. So he, Zero Four is playing very close to Evil right now, and mm -hmm. this is something I kind of expected. His shape has been looking very good so far, uh, better than last year, I'd say as well. Everyone seems to have stepped up their game since last year, and Evil with a four frag lead at this point is looking pretty good against Zero Four. Who, as we just jumped in, it's hard to say what's just happened. But it looks like Zero Four has been without control for the entire game. Look, okay. Looking at the pickups here. So he's he's trying to he's trying to establish uh, something at the moment. He's actually he's actually he's got a, a slightly yeah. better stack. It looks like he's just got himself back to control. And that's where we're jumping in here on this match. And so four minutes to go. He needs to make four frags. So or he's out. Let's see if he's able to accomplish that. Still running those items, looking for a way in. We can see Evil on the top level here, just lurking. Still holding on to a big stack. Zero Four really needs to get this map to bring it to uh, the tiebreaker. And if uh, Evil might run into him over here, but it's better damage from the Russian. Zero Four might have to cut his losses after that, but still standing there, Evil does not return. He's really comfortable right now. I think the way that he's been posturing really suggests that he's incredibly comfortable at letting Zero Four take the red, take the mega, and and attack him because he's like, I will just defend. I have a four frag. A lead, the fights you're going to have to take are going to be much better for me. Oh, Rockets here from Zero Four, two directs. The Mega's going to be up right next to him. Evil already took that red a long time ago. I think this is it. Oh, he's just going to chase it. He hasn't even taken the Mega just yet. A great amount of damage. Evil is left with just over 50 health after that. This is it, Zero Four. You've got, you've got to push in. You can't keep picking up the items at the moment. It's time to assert yourself here on Lost World. It is tough to get at Evil. I mean, he's just, he just keeps on running, keeps on finding those ways to escape. And that's the problem with Lost World against an experienced player like Evil. Oh, Zero Four just blocked him off from that red armor. Chasing a little bit with the LG, but he's not healthy enough. <laughs> he missed the rocket jump, just needs to go back, get the red armor, and pick a different angle to attack from. Yeah, I mean, he's successfully like, buying himself time and making, making it so that Zero Four, every time he pushes, he has to then spend like another 30, 40 seconds getting armor and health again, and then then going for the pressure, and then it go, you know just happens all over again. But then Zero Four is running out of time. We oh, just found Evil. He looked back. He didn't believe that he was actually going to be over there. And Zero Four might just have to back off and get another red. And, and I'm getting kind of worried for Zero Four at the moment because he keeps building that attack, getting her, and he has to keep on killing that time to stack up once more. And it's going to get to the point where he won't have the time to stack up. He's just going to have to take the risks. It does seem like that is becoming a reality now. And that's never what you want to be facing as a player. Having to take risks that you're not comfortable with. Having to execute in that in that uh, environment. Oh, that rocket. He's making Zero Four's life just hellish right now. The more damage um, people's going to do now, the more clutch that Zero Four's going to have to go. Exactly. And he's getting desperate. He's, you can see it. He's starting to get desperate. Rocket coming down, trying to predict uh, a midi over there. Oh, the LG vertical shots there from Evil. That is super painful with just over a minute left. Zero Four has got his back against the wall. What can he show the Russian player? So again, Evil just disappearing at will. Let's just check his uh, status out a bit. 100 armor back to Zero Four. As we can see him trying to find four frags still. Now only with a minute left. I mean... He just has to go for it, but look oh. how difficult Evil makes it for him. It's just impossible to two get close. Health. Just two health left. Evil pushes in, and that's all the control that Zero Four worked for to try get back there. It's just gone right now. And Zero Four, when he's about to meet his maker here in QuakeCon 2014 Duel Masters, Evil, is he going to be able to get himself another kill? The red armor's up, but it's not even important at this point. In the final 30 seconds, Zero Four to reflect, and Evil there. You can see he, he's relaxing. It's been some hard grafting for him, but he is getting himself through to the semi-finals. And a lot of people are going to be pretty excited to see it. It's a, a matchup that's yep. happened a lot online, but we get to see uh, playing in elimination bracket, Cypher versus Evil. It wasn't the groups, but I feel like this is what 
um, a lot of people are going to be quite interested in. But GG, 0-4, getting himself into the quarters. Great performance for home, but Evil takes it. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we didn't get to see it on stream, but there were a lot of close close mm. matches that 0-4... I mean, he took, obviously took a, a map off Evil as well. He so had a good tournament. He had a good, he had a really good tournament. Much better for him, I think, than last year. So it's great to see that he's still up there. But yeah, uh, do talk us through what we're going to look at going into the semifinals now. Uh, well, we are going to be able to see both of the semifinals, of course. We're going to yep. have to take a break first, and the time is so we might have a chance to see a semifinal, and then there's going to be a, a break because. Uh, all the Doom stuff is going to be taking place, or mm -hmm. I mean, waved out by people uh, surrounding us. And um, then we're going to be going back, I think, to another semi. Uh, and then we get the finals and the bronze finals all on Saturday. That's going to be basically the, the rest of the duels. We've got the open duel that's all taking place at the moment. People are playing their games and getting stuff sorted. I think we're going to be seeing the open duel finals on Saturday. But we're actually, we're not that far away from getting to the end of day one, QuakeCon 2014. I know, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've seen so much Quake and so many upsets and Toxic. What is what's going on with Toxic? Can someone stop Toxic? I, I, I wonder. That, I wonder. To me, that's, that's the biggest question. Can someone stop Toxic? Both of these semifinals are going to be crazy hype. Yeah, it's it's gonna be very interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll see to hang and toxic play. Yeah. What do you think will happen there? Because it's not something that really has happened it's before not, Quake it's Four. It's not a common and that's actually, match up, you know. Actually, wait a second. In Quake Four, that's actually when the hang broke out and said, "Hey guys, I'm really sick." By the way, mm -hmm. is when he was able to actually defeat uh, Toxic, and that's that's actually. I had to think back there, but yeah, that's actually yeah. where he first popped up. But no, so it's been a while. It's, it's been a long been while. A while, and no one's really faced a full strength toxic in Quake Life. Yeah. So I think I think the Hang might be slightly surprised as well that this is his opponent in the semi-finals. I think he'd already been uh, strategizing for what he'd do against Rafa in the yeah, semis of course, when, he yeah, saw, when he saw the brackets initially. The toxic's running around throwing wrenches in everyone's like game plans. <laughs> yeah, like what, into the whole tournament basically. Yeah, more or less. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for tuning in at the moment. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to get ourselves through to the semi-finals. Just go and get yourself a, a cold beverage, get yourself some snacks, and we'll be back soon for more Quake from QuakeCon 2014.